Hello friends, welcome to my channel, myself Parag Jambulkar. In last video, we have seen how to use query selector function, right? How to use query selector function in JavaScript in LWC component, right? In this video, we will see how to use query selector all function or method in JavaScript in LWC component. Query selector function returns first element which matches with a CSS selector, right? But query selector all function returns all elements which matches with the same CSS selector. So see, query selector function returns only one element, right? And that is the first element which matches with the CSS selector. But query selector all function returns all the elements which matches with the CSS selector. Now see, as query selector all function returns multiple elements, those multiple elements are returns as a list. Then if the selector is invalid, then it will return some error. Okay. So this is about query selector all function, right? In this video, we will have one simple example. And by that example, it will be very clear. Now see, just like query selector function, we can use same CSS selectors for the query selector all. So see, we can use tag, we can use class name. So for class name, we have to use it with dot operator. We can also use tag and class name. So see, tag name dot class name. Right. So likewise, we can use CSS selectors for query selector all function. So whatever the CSS selectors that we can use for query selector function, same CSS selectors we can use for query selector all function. Right. Okay. Now see what we will do. In last video, we have seen this example, right? Wire example 12. Same example we will modify and in this example, we will use query selector all. Okay. Instead of query selector, we will use query selector all. So see, here in HTML file, here we have taken only one input, right? So we have used this lightning input tag one time, right? Now see what we will do. We will repeat this. See, we will repeat this. And what we will do here, we will mention enter first name. And here we will make it enter last name, right? And here in JavaScript file, what we will do there, we will have two properties like this f name and here we will add another property l name like this okay so hello f name and last name hello first name and last name right okay now see to uniquely identify this element what we will do we will add name there so by that name we can uniquely identify this particular element so see what we will do here we will add some name so for example, here we will add first name, something like this. So see, this first name is a name for this element. And this f name is a property in JavaScript file, right? Okay. In the same way, for this second element, we will add name. So see, we will add last name, something like this, right? Okay. So last name will be name for this element, right? So here, what we have done, instead of having one input, now we will have two inputs. We will have two text fields, right? Okay. Now see in JavaScript file, here we have to make some change, right? So see, the f name for the first name, then we will add one more property, something like this, Zambulkar. So these are the default values, right? Parag and Zambulkar, semicolon. Now see, in this function, see, this dot template dot query selector. So here we will make query selector all. Right now, see here what we'll do CSS selector. We will use only tag. Okay, so tag name here we are using as a CSS selector. Now, see this query selector all will return list. Right, so no need to mention value so that we will remove. Okay, now see this is returning list. Right, so that list somewhere we have to assign. So, what we will do instead of this here will take one variable input like this. Now see in this list, we will have list of elements, right? Now see what we have to do. We have to fetch each element from this list, right? And for that purpose, we have to use for each loop. Now see how we can apply for each loop. So see, this is our list, right? Now see for this, we have to call function for each, right? For each is a method, right? So that we have to call like this as it is method so likewise we have to mention round brackets like this right now see 
for this for each which parameters we have to pass so see for every element in this list we have to call one function we have to call one function and here we have to pass current reference like this okay so for each element we have to call function and here we have to pass current reference right now see as it is function so we have to mention round bracket and we have to mention curly bracket right so see here it will accept some parameters and body will be in curly bracket right okay now see here one more parameter that we have to mention every element or current element from this list will be saved in this parameter so see that parameter here i am writing so some parameter i have taken element so see current value current element will be in this variable element and this will be body for this function okay so what we will do we will take it to new line like this now see what we have to do we have to fetch value from this element then from this element like this right so we have multiple elements we have two elements so we have to fetch value from this then we have to fetch value from this right so what we will do see we have to use if statement now see element right current element so see this element will have current value right so this element dot name so name is an attribute this attribute right now see if this name is equal to first name so see here we will write if it is equal to first name so see if name is equal to first name then what we have to do so to this property f name we have to allocate element value so see if name is equal to first name that means this element right if name attribute is equal to first name that means this is the element right this input value we will allocate to this f name property right so see f name is equal to element dot value like this right element dot value we are allocating to f name f name is this property right so see we will copy this and again here we will mention now see again we will check lc element dot name is equal to now see we are checking for this element right so see if name is equal to last name so see if current element dot name is equal to last name last name then what we have to do to this property l name to this l name property we have to allocate value like this right and see to refer this f name and l name what we will do we will use our current reference like this this dot f name this dot l name like this so in this way we have written code for for each loop so to implement for each loop we have to take help of for each method right and here we are passing two parameters function which will be executed for each value in this list and we have to pass current reference right and then here we are adding some condition right so if name is equal to first name then we have to allocate that value to first property if element dot name is equal to last name then that value we are allocating to another property like right okay now see in meta.xml already here we have mentioned true and already we have added target right lightning home page okay so we will deploy this okay it is done now see so already i have opened this app and this is our lwc component right okay so see we will refresh it by control f5 like this okay so see uh, first name last name okay so default value we have kept same so, okay that we will change in html file okay so for first input and second input okay so this default value we will change like this okay again we will deploy okay it is done now see we will refresh it by control f5 okay so here you can see we got this default value right parag jambulkar 
Okay. Now see if I change it. Suppose if I make Mayur Chavan, something like this, right? And if I click on this click here button. So here you can see Mayur Chavan. So Mayur from this text field and Chavan is from this text field, right? So in this way we can use query selector all function to fetch values from the multiple elements. So friends, I hope you like this video. If it is, then click on like, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video. So stay connected. Thank you.